What's up guys, it's MB Boxing and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Gennady Golovkin versus Hyota Moretta and this is going to be a 12 rounder for the unified WBA and IBF middleweight world championship and this fight is going to be Saturday April 9th from the Super Arena in Saitama, Japan and this fight is going to be broadcasted on the zone. and again both fighters resumes, Gennady Golovkin well known as Triple G holds a record of 41 wins with one defeat uh, with 36 wins coming by way of knockout. He's fighting out of Kazakhstan. Um, he's also the former um, three-belt middleweight world champion as he used to hold the WBC, WBA, and IBF middleweight world titles, but he is now the current IBF middleweight world champion. And now to list, first of all, his one draw and one loss. Both came to the same fight, as most of you guys know, if you've been following um, Gennady Golovkin for a while. It was to Canelo Alvarez, and both of those fights were very controversial. Many people, myself included, felt that Triple G won both fights, and that he sh really should be undefeated right now, and still a unified world champion, if not undisputed, if he would have got those victories, and could have moved on from the Canelo fiasco. But um, yeah, he lost by split decision to Canelo in their second fight. And then in their first fight, I believe it was, or should I say majority decision, he lost by. And in their first fight, it was a split decision draw. And now to list some of his best victories, he has a knockout win over Nobuhiro Ishida, a knockout win over Gabriel Rosado, a knockout win over Curtis Stevens, a knockout win over former champion Daniel Giel, a knockout victory over Marco Antonio Rubio, a knockout win over Martin Murray, a knockout win over Willie Monroe Jr., a knockout win over David Lemieux, a knockout win over Kel Brook in England, a unanimous decision victory over Daniel Jacobs, a knockout win over former champion Vane's Matirosan. He also has a unanimous decision victory all over Sergei Dervianchenko. And to get his opponent's resume, Hyota Morata, fighting out of Japan, holds a record of 16 wins, 2 defeats, with 13 wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently not ranked by Bokstrek, along with Triple G. Um, due to inactivity, however, he is the current WBA middleweight world champion, and he is actually the two-time WBA middleweight world champion. And to list both of his defeats, he has a split decision loss to Hassan Ndam, and he also has a unanimous decision defeat to Rob Brandt. And to list some of his best victories, he actually was able to um, get revenge on both of his defeats, as in his rematch against Ndam, he won by knockout or corner stoppage, I should say, and that's where he won the WBA middleweight world title, but then after he lost to Rob Brandt, he eventually lost him, brutally stopped him inside two rounds to retain his belt. Now I believe he's been upgraded to WBA super champion, so a lot has really been in the positive path for him, but his last fight was, I believe, in late 2019, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, somewhere around there, unless it was in December of 2020, but I'm pretty sure from what I remember, it was December of 2019, and he did get a knockout win over Steve Butler, but another decent knockout win he does have is a knockout win over um, Emmanuel Bladurama, Bladmura, Bladamura, sorry if I pronounced his name correctly. But um, yeah, Murata's resume isn't that bad, as I mentioned before, um, was able to reven get revenge over his only two defeats, um, and he has some other solid victories as well. However, Triple G... Over 40 fights, has been some of the best in the world. Um, his resume obviously has a big edge, but still, this is a very competitive fight. Or very, I shouldn't say competitive, it is a very interesting fight, um, honestly. And really, to get into who I think is going to win, I'm just going to have to edge um, one of the greatest fighters of this era, in my opinion, um, Triple G. Uh, Triple G, one of my favorite fighters personally. Um, he's just a very humble, very powerful um, and very just great fighter. I mean, he's the whole package for fans, what fans want to see, goes for knockouts, gets a lot of knockouts. I mean, he's a very, very good fighter. And, um, yeah, I believe he's also a former Olympic medalist, a uh, very, very, um, good fighter overall, had an excellent career thus far, and really looks to become, yet again, a unified middleweight world champion with a possible victory against Morata in this fight. But Murata, he can't really be overlooked. I mean, he's a very powerful fighter in his own right. Um, 12 knockouts and 16 wins. Got knockout wins in his sort of revenge fights for his um, only losses. Uh, he's a very, very good, well-balanced fighter. And I believe that Murata is also um, a former Olympic medalist. I can't really remember if he won 
uh, which medal he won, whether it was bronze, silver, or gold, but I do know for a fact that he did place in the Olympics. But, um, yeah, this fight, I think, will be very, very entertaining. And although that it's really two big power punchers coming in um, at the center of the ring, I don't think we're going to see a knockout here. I think, although both of these guys have a lot of power, and although that Murata really doesn't have the greatest defense, I just don't see Murata getting knocked out. I see him um, losing this fight by unanimous decision. And although some people might say, oh, this was a really, really tough fight to predict, I just think that Triple G is going to utilize his experience in the ring against some of the best fighters to really just outwork Murata throughout this fight and really just land the bigger and better shots. And um, I think that he will be able to win a majority of the rounds. And I think he, Triple G will make it very, very clear um, and show that he's one of still one of the best middleweights in the world as he just turned 40. Um, I believe it was today, the day before his fight um, against Marata, obviously. But um, yeah, I mean, 40 years old, still going strong, looking to become a unified world champion. I mean, he's really had an excellent career. And I mean, if he gets a victory here, I can't wait to see what's next. It will most likely be Canelo Alvarez if Canelo does get the win over Dimitri Bivol. But um, yeah, just to continue breaking down this fight. And just before I do that, just comment down below your thoughts on this fight. Who you think is going to win and what's next for the winner? Because I'm very interested to see um, who people are winning this fight. Because, I mean, I've seen a lot of mixed opinions. But I still think it's going to be Triple G getting the victory here. And, um, yeah, I really think Triple G is going to utilize his pressure fighting, power punching style to really get the win here. And I really think that he will be able to easily break through the defense um, or the limited defense, I should say, of Hiota Murata. Um, I don't really think that um, Murata's defense is too strong, and I think that Triple G will find a lot of holes in his guard and really land a lot of his big, powerful shots that he's known for landing on so many opponents he has faced. However, Murata, I mean, he has very good power of his own. Um, Triple G, also his defense, I mean, isn't really... If you're going to really look at some of the shots Triple G has been hit with over time... It's really that his offense makes up for his defense, but he still has a very decent high guard, blocks a lot of the punches that are thrown at him, and counters them with brute force. And, um, yeah, I really think that um, it's really going to be Triple G's offense over his defense in this fight, and I think that his offense is really going to be, really what's going to score him points in this fight, um, as opposed to landing more counter punches or something like that, or boxing on the outside, because that's just not what Triple G does. If you've watched Triple G for a number of years, you would know that he's really a come-forward fighter who loves to throw a lot of punches. And he also has an excellent chin. And that is the same with um, Murata. Murata also has a great chin, but can he take the power of Triple G? Triple G is arguably one of the hardest-hitting middleweights of this era, or probably the hardest-hitting middleweight of this era. Um, maybe one of the hardest-hitting middleweights of all time. Uh, very, very powerful and... Um, yeah, I do think that, although he's a very strong fighter, I don't think, or I do think that um, Murata will survive and go the distance. However, I think that Triple G will win a clear, um, unanimous decision with his pressure fighting style. And I just think that he will simply outwork Murata. Although Murata will trade with Triple G in the center of the ring and make this fight really, really good, I just don't really see Murata winning too many rounds. And with that being said, I see Triple G taking eight rounds, nine rounds, if not ten rounds. Um, so overall, I believe that Gennady Golovkin will defeat Hyota Murata by unanimous decision. And I believe that the judges will score this bout 118 to 110, 117 to 111, and 116 to 112. On favor of Triple G to win this fight and to become the now unified um, WBA and IBF middleweight world champion. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys Later.